Gabby here and today we have part two of my closet decluttering series. If you saw part one, if you haven't, I will link it up here. We started with my skirts and dresses and now we are going to go through like my tops. So like shirts, sweaters, sweatshirts, all that stuff in the hopes of decluttering so when I am moving, I am not moving with clothes that I don't like. So if you enjoy decluttering videos like this one, just keep on watching. Now, before I started filming this video, there were a few tops that like, as I was like either wearing them or like going through my clothes, I was like, I don't need this. So like, we're gonna start with those, okay? I have this one top from Yes Style. I swear in like every color and I love it, but I never reach for this color because it is so close to my skin tone that it makes, I just don't like wearing it. So this is gonna go in my resell pile because I think I've literally only worn it once. The other top, now I in theory love this sweater. I love this shade of green. I think it's super cute. I just am in a constant state of denial about how off the shoulder things in my body are. I have narrow shoulders. I can't hold anything up if it's off the shoulder. It just always scoops up and is never off the shoulder. This sweater is supposed to be off the shoulder and I, I can't. So I'm going to put this in the resale pile. I think it's super cute. It's super soft. So I hope someone picks it up. Now, the question is, do we start with my closet or my dresser? And as you can tell, I've rearranged my room. I mean, if my dresser's right here, you can infer that I've rearranged my room again. I know I'm moving soon, but okay, I had to rearrange my room. I think we'll start with dresser because then I can organize it. Currently, I have my dresser as like, the middle shelf is like colorful clothes. And then the bottom shelf is like neutral colors and like my pajamas. So we're gonna start with the colorful stuff. And it's basically gonna be like a pull it out. Do we keep it? Do we get rid of it? Blah, blah, blah. So top on top, this really cute Forever 21 knit sweater. I love this. This is a keep. This is also going to force me to refold everything in my dresser, which will probably be good for me. Um, okay. I don't know why. Big purple top. I love this top. It's so cozy. It's often honestly like a loungewear, like sleep piece for me. I would love to find a way to style this all cool though. Like do a cute little purple fit. I don't know. I do love this. This is a keep. Blue cropped sweater. I like this shade of blue on me especially. So this is a keep. Okay. I have this blue top that I got off YesStyle. I've maybe worn it once. I don't dislike the top. I just don't gravitate towards it really at all. So I'm going to put this in the resale pile. As I add things to the resale pile, please note that I am reselling a lot of my clothes on Depop to help cover moving expenses and bills and things. So if you want to support me, just check out my Depop. Uh, let's keep going. That same top that I said I have in like every color, here is it in yellow. I'm keeping this, I like the shade of yellow pink fuzzy little like cardigan sweater. This is a keep. My friend gifted me this and I am keeping it. All right, purple Sailor Moon. This is technically a pajama top, I think, but I wear this like all the time. Like it's just so cute. So this is a keep. This I think I should resell because I really haven't worn this in so long. It's this, I got it off like Romwe or Shein, but it's like really nice, like thick, material, it's a cropped like rugby top. And I think it's really cute, but I just, I don't wear it really at all. I don't like, like I like preppy things, but I don't like a certain type of preppy and I don't know how to explain it. But this isn't the type of preppy I gravitate towards. So this is gonna go in the resale pile. T-shirt, this I'm keeping, I've had this for forever, but it's just really comfy. I like this one, I just never, here's the thing, I have multiple tops like this, where it's like a little mock neck, stripey top. I have this one. I have this Unif one. And I have this other one. I don't need three stripey mock neck tops. This one I've debated a million times on whether or not I should keep, and I've still never really worn it. So this is going in the resale pile. This Unif one I love and like hunted down. I've worn it maybe once. I want to keep it because I know I will wear it. 
This one I feel like I will wear and if I don't wear it before I move then I'm going to resell it. You're gonna see a lot of purple. Uh, I have this like purple off the shoulder. It's like a Shein or Romwe top but I really like it especially. Here's my thing. These top, these types of tops also this one is supposed to I think it's supposed to be an off the shoulder, but it doesn't work on me, so I usually wear it up like this. I really like it though, and I like having like summery tops like this, especially for filming videos. So there's that. Then I have this purple top that I thrifted. I technically have not worn this besides like in a video, but I want to style this some way really cute. So I'm keeping this. Oh my gosh, this top I've had for forever. This is literally like a Target little top. I love this thing. It's so cute. I love floral, so it's a keep. I wear it still so much. Here's another little top that I, in the winter at least, like a lot of like my like summery tops, I obviously like wear in the spring and summer, but I use them often in the winter for like filming videos, so I'm wearing like something cute. So this is a keep. I love this top, little clubbing top. I like this one, I'm keeping it. What do we got? This one, this is iconic. I've worn this so much. I love this top. Again, Romwe Shein, whichever. Um, but it's so cute and I just, I wear it so much. I have this little, I like this shade of like mustard yellow on me a lot. So I'm keeping this. I like this top a lot. It's not super well made, I will say, but it just, it looks really nice on me. So I'm keeping it and I wear it a lot. All right. I wore this for the first time finally. I've had this, are you, this is Ankh Rouge, I'm pretty sure. This little Ankh Rouge like turtleneck. I love this. I've worn it once and now I'm like, I need to wear this more. I literally wore it in a vlog, but like I need to wear it more. Tops are like tops that I can wear to work. So I am keeping them because I need things that I can wear to work. This Miu top that I bought off an artist. This is a keep because I just, I love the art on it so much. Then I have this pink knit top. I love that it's inside out. Um, to me, this shade of pink is like a neutral in my wardrobe, basically. So like I wear this shade of pink, like I wear a nice muted blush pink very often. So this is a keep just because this is kind of like an essential. Then the last top I have in here is this little green one from Shein, but like I do wear it a lot and I'm going to keep it. So that is drawer number one or at least what's currently in drawer number one. So now I'm gonna go fold all those and put them away and make it all nice. Look at how nice and organized. That's so much nicer than it looked before. I didn't even wanna show you how bad it looked. We're not, I'm not even. All right, time for neutral drawer. Now I'm not gonna lie, neutral drawer is probably really boring. And also I'm not gonna go through pajamas cause that's not exciting. Because we have things like turtlenecks, which are my nemesis. I don't like turtlenecks prefer a mock neck to a turtleneck, but I wear them to work now. So I feel like I have to keep them. That same Yes Style top, but in black. I'm keeping it, it goes with everything. Black little bodysuit. I don't really need it for right now, but like, it's there. I like the gray one. The gray is a keep. I'm never gonna wear this color. I don't know why, well, it came in like a set which annoys me. I hate when like you buy something and it comes in like a set of like three colors and you like two colors, but not one of the colors. I'm never gonna wear this cream color. So I'm gonna resell this. I have this gray one again. I wear black and gray a lot to work, which isn't fun, but like I have to. All right, I have these two little t-shirts. I like having t-shirts for layering and I like gray. The neutral drawer is gonna be boring. Uh, that same little like blue cardigan, I have it in black. I'm only keeping the blue and the black. I'm re I resold or I am reselling the green and the purple ones because I just don't wear them. I resold the cream one. I have not worn the black one. I feel like, again, it's a situation of if I don't rewear it in the spring, then I'm gonna resell it. Like if I don't wear this before I move, I'm reselling this. The rest of what's in this drawer is literally pajamas and I'm not gonna show y'all my pajamas, so. I'm gonna fold these things and put them away and we'll continue on to the closet. Now, as you all will very quickly see, sweaters and sweatshirts are my kryptonite. I love sweaters and sweatshirts and especially here where I live, it's cold a lot. So, you know, they're like practical and I wear them a lot, but I feel like I have too many. 
and I know it's about to be extremely hard. I've got, I've put a lot of them on Depop. I have put things on Depop. So like I've called my wardrobe multiple times. It's like now that I'm like, okay, I'm going to be moving. I don't want to move this many things because I don't know what my closet is going to be like. So I feel like we have to do this. So we're going to get started. Whoops. We are starting with the white and cream colored sweaters. Now there are a lot of them. First thing, I bought this little bolero shrug thing when everyone was into these bolero shrug things. I've never worn this. This is going in the resell pile because I just, I'm never, when, why? I'm so annoyed that I bought into that. Okay, this sweater was a gift, so this is a keep. This is a Liz Lisa sweater that I thrifted, well not thrifted, I got it off Depop. I've never worn this. I'm debating what to do with it. Liz Lisa sweater that I wear all the time. I love this one. It's super cute. It goes with everything. This is a key. Another Liz Lisa sweater. Here's the thing. Why do I have like 10 different beige to white Liz Lisa sweaters? This isn't even the last of them, but this one I really like and I wear it a lot. Now, this one, as you know, I have an off the shoulder problem where off the shoulder things don't work for me. I'm going to try this on and see if it's still, cause even when I bought it, like I know there's things you can do to make off the shoulder things stay off the shoulder, but they usually do not work for me. So I'm gonna try this on and we'll debate if I need to keep it or not. So that's the maybe pile. This Mars sweater that I got, Genevieve, no, you cannot go near the white sweaters. You are a black cat. This Mars sweater I am keeping, I haven't worn it yet but I want to keep it because I know I will wear this. My Sailor Moon Tralala sweater is a keep because it's a cardigan, I can layer with it. I have this beige cardigan that I keep for like Kogal looks. I really like it, it's cozy, I keep. This was a gift from a friend. Now I will say this is probably one of those like preppy style things that aren't really my style, but my friend gave it to me and because of that I want to keep it and it's really cute and cozy even if it's not really my style. Then we have the strawberry that I bought recently. This is a keep. I'm gonna try on the off the shoulder sweater and see if I can make it work. Um, because if not, I should just resell it because I'm never gonna wear it. Even though, like, I love this sweater. And you will see in my closet, I have a knockoff of it too because I like it so much, like, aesthetically. But, like, if I can't make it work, then I shouldn't keep it. So let me try this on, I'll be right back. Here it is on. It's so cute. And this is making me, now I feel like I should pull out the knock, cause I feel like a huge thing right now is people getting mad at other people for buying knockoffs of things. Chillax, not everyone can afford to like get Liz Lisa from Japan or all these Japanese brands. No, not everyone can afford to get them. So like if people buy a knockoff because it's the only way they can appreciate a fashion Independent designers though do not buy knockoffs of that. That's a separate problem. I could go off on this. The way that like the real one is made better that it actually is staying off the shoulder on me versus if I wear the knockoff one, it doesn't actually stay off the shoulder on me because it's like much tighter knit, I think across. So it actually like is staying off the shoulder on me. So I feel like I should keep this. But I also know myself, and as you saw, I have like 5 million white Liz Lisa sweaters. I, that's my thing, is I have so many of these white, cream, beige, whatever you want to call it, sweaters. And I don't wear them because I'm so scared of ruining them that I hold on to them and keep them. But then I also know that like these colors look really nice with a lot of J Fashion skirts that I have. So I buy them to wear with the skirts that I have and the dresses that I have, but then I never wear either because I'm worried about ruining the top. I think I might keep this one, but I think we need to debate very strongly which of these Liz Lisa sweaters we keep. Okay, let's, let's talk. So we've already said strawberry sweater, not even a Liz Lisa sweater. This is a keep. This one that my friend gave me is a keep, even though it's not my style. And like when I say it's not my style, like it's not my style, but I do wear it as like a throw on, like it's comfy, okay? This cardigan is a keep. The Tralala cardigan is a keep. I'm gonna put these in my closet. Mars sweater, I wanna keep it. Um, it still has the tag on it and everything, which is insane to me. Uh, 
I need to wear this. I need to wear this. Now I will say every time I reach up to do something, it does like come off my shoulders, but I feel like that would happen regardless. But like the thing is, it's still staying on my shoulders better than my knockoff one does. The sweater that my friend got me as a gift, I am keeping because it was a gift. Also, I do wear this one. Cause tell me this, any other working 20 something year old, when you have cute clothes, but you don't want to wear them to work because you feel like wearing them to work is a waste of wearing a cute outfit. So you wear the same boring crap every week to work instead of wearing the cute things in your closet that you really want to wear, that you could wear to work, but choose not to. Can someone like re-rationalize my brain into making that work? I will say these two Liz Lisa sweaters, I have worn way more. This one I've literally never worn since I got it. I feel like I should just resell it at this point because I've truly, I just never gravitate towards it, so. And like these two are kind of like, this one's like a thicker sweater. This one's a more looser knit. I wear this one a lot in like the spring when it's like not as cool in the fall. Like I just, this one I gravitate towards a lot. This one I've been wearing a lot now that it's like really cold here. So I'm gonna keep these two and I'm gonna resell that other one. Now we're on to pink and red. This red chew knockoff sweater I do really like. I am debating on keeping it or not because the only thing that bothers me and I can't really explain it unless I try it on the like collar part in the front doesn't like stay forward much, but I don't own much red. So I'm like debating. I'm going back and forth on whether if I should keep this. Okay, my knockoff Lazy Oaf. I know I got rid of the skirt that in theory would go with this, but I kind of want to wear this on Valentine's Day. I haven't decided. I might keep this, I might resell it. All right, this pink shrug cardigan, I love this. I wear it a lot, this is a keep. This little pink cropped sweater from like, it's either Ram Weishin, whatever. I wear this so much, it's really nice, it's super warm, I'm going to keep this. Again, pink is a neutral in my wardrobe. Okay, we have the constant debate. I have the cropped version from Rojida, and then I have the long version from Liz Lisa. Do I need both? I don't think so, but I want to try, in the worst way, I want to at least try wearing both and styling both and seeing which one I like better. I know this is now super not off the shoulder. Again, I've been moving my arms. That's the problem with off the shoulder crap. Once you move your arms, it does not stay down, but this at least stays down better than the knockoff one that I have, which is making me really think I should resell the knockoff. If I can't find a way to style the cropped one in a way that I would rewear it, then I'm going to resell it, but I am definitely keeping the long one. This sweater I thrifted, I have not worn it. It's in really nice condition, but like I've just never worn it. So I think I'm just gonna resell it. My big chunky rainbow lazy knit sweater is a keep. Lazy knit? Lazy oaf sweater is a keep. I love this. I wear it a lot, especially because it's super cold here. This, I still constantly debate how the hell to style this. I love it. Aesthetically, it is so cute. I cannot for the life of me figure out how to style this in a way that I don't hate it. This is iconically me, this is a keep, I love this. I know it's she and I know it's a knockoff of a blah, blah, blah. This sweater that I thrifted from Japan, I am keeping, I love it. It's coming off like more reddish pink on camera. It's more like a purpley color. Um, I'm keeping this, I've worn this a lot to work. Liz Lisa, big fluffy bear moment. I wear this a lot, I know it's a knockoff, it's big and comfy and I don't really own blue, I am keeping this. This sweater that I got off Depop is really cute and I wear it a lot. This is a keep. And this is another just iconically me sweater that is held up for years. So I'm keeping those. I'm gonna go put those away. And I'm gonna take this off. I think I'm gonna keep this. And hopefully I wear it. If I do not wear it this winter, then I'm going to resell it. Okay, wait, I lied. I found the knockoff one. It wasn't in my laundry. It was just not organized in my closet properly. This is the knockoff one. The knockoff one, upon feeling it, is a much thinner knit. And the thing is, I do like this color. The problem that I have is it does not stay off the shoulder as well as the other one. I'm gonna put this on so you can see the difference. Now, it's a much thinner knit, so this band, which is in theory what's gonna keep it off the shoulder, 
is not as thick, so it's not really holding it as much. What I hate is it looks nice. Like, it really does look nice. It's super pretty. I love this color on me. I don't know what to do. I was very set on getting rid of this, and now I'm confused because I do like how it looks, and I've worn it more than I've worn the actual one. So I don't really know what to do. We're gonna go through the next pile of sweaters. This like multicolored knit I wear a lot to work. Like I, th th this is a necessity. This little brown one, I was told after I wore it, it's a knockoff, I think of a swan kiss design. I'm not quite sure. I got this years ago. I love it. I wear it a lot. This is a keep. This sweater, another iconic, Gabby wears this all the time, pieces. Um, I love it. I thrifted it years ago. This is a keep. We have the black version, but I think this is, okay, no. This is from the brand Rimne, R-M-I-N-E. It's a Japanese brand. I just probably butchered the pronunciation. Um, this is the black version. I've worn this one a ton. I really like it. This is a keep. This little black sweater I wear a lot to work or just for like really cutesy girly outfits. I love this so much. It just has so many details that I love. I love the lace, I love the pearl buttons. This is a keep. And then this little black sweater I really like as well. It's super girly, but also black, which is why I like it. It's just really cute. I'm going to keep this. These are all keeps. Not that I was gonna question that because I know at least for like a lot of my like neutral colors if you will like are like black white gray and like pink so i know the pieces that are those colors i've truly like curated to make sure they're things that i really like to wear so i'm gonna go hang these up now in the worst way i don't foresee myself getting rid of any of these sweatshirts I haven't worn my ice Pokemon sweatshirt from the Pokemon Center. I normally wear the grass one a lot. Um, I haven't worn the ice one yet, but I plan to keep this. Sailor Moon Secret Honey collab little track jacket. I am keeping this. I'm very much leaning towards doing like a casual Sailor Moon inspired fit for Katsu. Then I have this sweatshirt that my friend gifted me. I do not know the brand. TNA, I don't know it. My friend gave me this. I'm keeping it. It's super warm and cozy. Here's the grass Pokemon sweatshirt. I'm keeping it. I wear this one so much. And then my pink little My Melody hoodie that I love desperately. Like, I can't get rid of it. She's got bunny ears. I love it. I wear this. It's keep. Now, there are clothing pieces that I have that are probably not going to be in either of these videos. Either they're like pajamas. I don't feel like going through my gym clothes with you because I feel like that's really boring. Um. I'm not gonna go through my dirty laundry to pick out clothes that I plan to get rid of because I wanna wash everything before I decide what to do with it anyway. But like, oh no, we don't wanna drop none. This is a pretty solid pile, honestly. Like it's a good pile. And probably there will be more in this pile as the months go on. This sweater I am still debating on whether or not I should keep the knockoff of. Let me know in the comments, should I keep the knockoff or should I keep the original and resell the knockoff, resell the original? Just let me know what to do because like, this one definitely doesn't stay as well off the shoulder as the other one, but I have worn it more, which is why I'm so conflicted about what to do. And yep, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, yes you, make sure you hit the subscribe button, it's right there. Woo, and in the comments, let me know which clothing piece that I showed is your favorite? Which clothing piece that I'm getting rid of is your favorite? Um, are there pieces that you're like, no, Gabby, you definitely don't need this. You should get rid of it because like, I need help. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to see cosplay content if that is what you follow me for. I do post my for sale items over on my social media. So if you are interested in buying cosplays, anime merch, or clothes from me, please follow me over there because then you can purchase these items for yourself. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!